Eric Sherum. I'm a co-owner of the Oklahoma Sports Network. We're a live streaming company that uh, basically uh, takes a sporting event and football is primarily king in southwest Oklahoma or actually in the state of Oklahoma, but we don't end there. And so the good news is with streaming, uh, because we're a channel that can uh, go 24 seven, we're not delegated to a programming format. We don't have to interrupt programming. We can basically stop and start and go at any given time. And so basically we start with the fall and the girls sports. So we have volleyball and softball. We do all of uh, football. And then in the winter sports, we take over with basketball. We've done swimming, we do wrestling, we do baseball, we do soccer. And so basically if it's a sport, since uh, I guess the phrase is since sports is our middle name, we'll try to cover it. Well, we started out of the Lawton area uh, with a couple of the schools and then we have expanded so we have all three Lawton schools. We have Cash, Elgin, Altus, Newcastle, all of Middell with Midwest City, Dell City and Carl Albert and then we just added Yukon, uh, one of our largest schools in the metro area. So very excited to uh, keep expanding this network and uh, that's where our goal is. And with our name we're not limited to any region of the state. We can go from one corner of the state to the other. I think the biggest advantage, and especially since we represent military communities, I, I think is, is these are individuals that cannot attend an event. It's not that you're keeping them away from an event. They want to be there, they just can't. Scheduling, maybe they live out of state, maybe we have the military that is stationed overseas. I can't tell you how many times we get calls or, or emails from thank yous from those who are overseas. Uh, I'm in Germany and I get to watch my daughter play softball. Uh, you know, I, I'm over here serving and, uh, and I get to watch soccer. We had one guy that was an alum that was uh, stationed in Guantanamo Bay and was just watching. And not only can you watch it live, but everything is archived. So in, in cases that you're in other parts of the world, you can watch it when you are up and around. You don't have to you know, watch it like in the wee hours in the morning. Well, I think that's what sets us apart from uh, other entities is that we have the buy-ins from the community. All of our announcers are tied to their community. So it's not like just getting someone as a paid contract announcer to bounce around and do these games. We want to make sure that these individuals are tied to their community. So there's a sense of pride. There's also a sense of history. They'll know exactly that this kid's uncle played 20 years ago and was successful. And so we don't know that information, but those who are tied in the community, and that's the greatest buy-in. The buy-in is that we get community people who love their their school and and will show it in football we have a four-man crew or a four-person crew uh, we will have a producer and and the good news is with our schools we've got a lot of involvement with a lot of uh, high school students that are still involved and maybe looking to uh, launch this as a career you know and they can learn camera work so we usually have camera operators that are usually coming from the schools and their support producers that learn uh, how to bring in a broadcast uh, you know th you know through editing and 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 whatnot uh, you know that's been kind of a good thing and then we have our play-by-play -play and color analysts and so basically a four-person crew we have uh, some smaller crews for some of the smaller sports but football is engaging with a little bit more involvement i would say we have different avenues to reach people and so we look for new ways to try to engage that audience so yes we're on a website but we're on an app and app is the easiest easiest way to to find us and to catch us but then we don't stop there we have our facebook audience which caters to a, a different age demographic so we have facebook we have instagram we have twitter and then we have TikTok, and 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 then we have youtube and some of these things have surprised me of how I reach those type of audiences. So what engages best with them is what makes us come up with ideas of, okay, how can we reach them better? Because it's always trying to bring them back into the network. It's bringing them back into our product by using all of these other platforms.